Dave. We're from Quest Pest Control. We're based out of Avon, Connecticut. And this is our uh, bed bug smelling dog, Ellie. She's about five years old. Uh, we're going to actually go into the studio and see if George, <laughs> George is in fact carrying bed bugs on him. Uh, what we will do is we'll go in, we work from left to right, uh, and we sniff, we inspect everything. And she's about 98% accurate. Now, how long does this process typically take for, you know, this is a not a huge space, it's not as big as a house, it's, but it's a... a... An average, let's say, two to 3,000 square foot home probably takes 10, 10 to 15 minutes. minutes, probably, depending on how much furniture there is. And, um, but the beauty of it is, you know, that we can locate and pinpoint these low-level infestations. You know, the dogs can smell um, something as small as an egg, which is about the size of a grain of salt. Um, that we, to the human eye, could barely, you know, barely ever find. The things that people have to remember is that the dogs are used to pick up on the presence of odor. Um, they will not, they wouldn't even know what a bed bug looks like. They will just walk right by it. So even though she's smelling and if she alerts somewhere, that's where she's picking up the odor. It doesn't mean that something is necessarily there because she's at the mercy of the air currents within the room. Okay. So, you know, if there's an air conditioner or fan going, it's pushing that scent away from the point of source. So she may pick it up 15 feet away from where it actually is. But she'll be able to tell if George has is, is got the bugs. Without, yes. without a doubt. Yeah. We're very nervous, Ellie. Yeah. Please help um, us. <laughs> Uh, uh, one one important point also is that all of our we have three dog teams with the company and they're all NASDAQ certified um, and accredited. Um, there's a big difference between just a bed bug dog and a NASDAQ certified canine right. team. And so. We actually have a certification that we can show, and the dogs are scientifically um, backed up. So we're getting the real deal piece. Yeah, of absolutely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for coming today, guys. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Ellie. Help us. Oh, the bed bug uh, dog is here. George, uh -oh. you ready to get sniffed? All right. Uh, hold on a sec. But uh, what if the dog comes in and stops by somebody else? <laughs> Good. <laughs> throw him out of here. If they, st if they stop by me, throw me out of here. <laughs> if I were smart, I would not have talked about it. <laughs> well, that's what Howard said. You're announcing that you're a bed bug. Yeah. I didn't know it was like the plague here. <laughs> well, it is like that the plague. Be, we yeah. don't want to be uh, contaminated by you. Yeah, I'm discovering. Yeah. I don't think I came near George once yesterday. <laughs> you wouldn't hug me. I reached for you. <laughs> you, you ran away. <laughs> Ronnie, the limo driver, was out there is seriously asking if the dog needed to fill out a release. Form <laughs> for, no, I'm not kidding. Don't even say that. All of our, I swear, all of our guests. Oh, I are, hear it. Are, I have to sign a release. Uh huh. She was asking if the dog needs to sign a release. How's the dog going to sign a release? How's the dog going to sue you? Yeah. Ronnie, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Excuse me. I think the dog needs to Does sign Ronnie a release. Does you think that the dog can sign a paper? Yeah. You guys should have told him yes. Like, I want to see Ronnie convinced. <laughs> yeah, putting, put that pencil in between the bars. Ronnie, a dog doesn't have to sign a release. You know that, don't you? What's the matter with you? I was joking around. I heard you weren't joking. <laughs> no, I said to Carrie, do you have the dog has to sign a release? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You're going to get your ball sniffed. <laughs> <laughs> I have been bitten in two nights. <laughs> hey, what while, does that mean? While I have you here, Ronnie, you saw Benji yesterday in the hall. He dropped his salad on the floor. Correct. And then he picks it up with his hand and shoves it back in the bowl? Correct. Wow. That is just disgusting, Benji. Get a new salad. You're eating off the floor, crying out loud. Because he downplayed it yesterday. He tried to make it like... What did I say yesterday? You said you picked it up off the floor and threw out that part. I said I, I picked it up because if I, I, I knew if I said, hey... You I'll, picked I'll, it up and stuck it in your salad bowl and ate it. What are you doing? Can I, can I finish or not? All right. Okay. I said yesterday, I said, we were about to go back to the show. I was walking in with a salad. It dropped on the floor outside the studio. Right. I knew if I said, oh, I'll, let me get this in a minute because I need to clean this up. It would be a, become a huge thing. I know how things go around here. Right. So I, I, the quickest thing I saw was to put it back in the bowl. Right. There was, it was the top fell. Some of the top fell off. I came in here. Right. I threw some of it out that was on the top. <laughs> sure you did. Yeah, but it was already in the bowl already. Right. And I picked it out and I threw it out. And yeah, you know but what? how do you know what you put back in with to pick out? Yeah. 
And how do you, how does it know not to get on the other food in I, it? I, I threw out some of the top layer. I had just stepped in dog <laughs> shit and walked on it. Have you ever, have you ever th- dropped something on the floor and thrown out some of the top layer? No. no. All right. Well, we're different. Yeah, but you put it back. What I'm saying is, Benj, you put it back in the bowl with the rest of your food. Which makes you all the food right. dirty. You it's don't mixing. know... What parts that went back in the bowl yeah, and what he, parts you No, his hand's up. like a measuring cup. You're right. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't exact. <laughs> you're disgusting. And, and, it's a point. All right. What My you, hands right. are like a shift. What, what you should have done was you, you should have said to me, listen, dude, I got to go back on the air. Oh, this, yeah, this would have been great. Could Benji, you get, could Benji you get, is... Uh, the, could you get he, somebody like to yeah, pick Yeah, that would have become a TV hey, Benji, show. Benji, it's not a big deal. I'm just telling you, in the future, you might want to consider not eating off the carpet. I mean, there's fibers and all kinds of... Everyone walks over with Look, their shitty shoes. Look, if he's shoes. doing that here, what yeah. else is he doing? Yeah, I don't know. That's I what, eat that's, feces. So, no, what that's what I do. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just trying to say you might want to... I go to, to bathrooms and I lick toilet. Forget it. You're missing the point. He's making it like an argument. I'm just telling him it's not a good idea to do that. Okay, this first of all, tip right, of the right, iceberg. In the, right. right in the middle, you just of this, you lied. You say you'd never have dropped food, you thrown lied. out the top, top layer. Do you never I'm throw not, out part of a sandwich? Sure, I drop part of a sandwich and I throw it in the garbage. And, and the whole sandwich falls, you don't say, oh, I, I, I'll throw out part no. of it? No. Okay. Well, the whole sandwich dropped on the floor, what part is he throwing out? Right. The I, bread that hit the floor? Benji's got some sort of theory about me that I'm lying. Why would I lie about that? Well, I, I don't know. He would just, never. But dude, by the if way, if he dropped it on the floor, he with, would never eat it. But, but let's say it's, let's say it's a sandwich. Like a salad has like dressing and stuff on it. No, it doesn't have. My salad doesn't have any. Dressing All right. So on when it. you pick up a salad off the floor, you're picking up the fibers from the carpet and everything else. You know what I mean? It's like you're picking. It's almost like. like and a, I threw out. Uh, the forget top it. Layer. I, you know, okay. Yeah, but, All right. yeah, but you know what? The, the, right. Here's, I, I, the, here's I, I, the other thing. Yeah. There's a hard boiled egg in there. Yeah. With the salad. Right. It's so now when you put that salad back on top. Right, all the, all all the, the shit goes getting on, on the, the egg. It's getting on the egg. Oh, but disgusting. that was my point, that if he takes the dirty stuff and puts it in the salad and still scrapes off the top ladder, le- a level, it touched the other sa- parts of the salad. Right. Hey, you know what? I guarantee if I examine your food, I'll find feces right. in it. Good, okay. Oh, all right, you know what? Because that's You don't have to is. examine my food. Right. If it, 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 I'm just giving you a tip. I'm not doing it to attack you. Oh, oh yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Absolutely, Benji. you are. You're like, Benji, hey, let's, let me to tell you. Benji he's disgusting. You disgust me. It's not healthy what you're doing. That's all I'm telling you, man. I'm just telling you. Oh, you know what? I don't care. Wait, Do whatever wait, wait, you want. Right. Oh, Bye. Wait, wait, Benji, Benji's real feisty. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Ben. He's real feisty me. this morning. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Wait, I didn't realize. Wait, I didn't wait, realize you were trying. Wait, wait, you were trying wait, to be wait, nice. Right. I was I, trying. I didn't realize. Okay. Benji, when was it Howard making it disgusting? I didn't realize that Howard was just trying to make me healthy. No, I'm no, sorry. No. When I did he make it disgusting? You know what? He is disgusting. But the point is, he did what he did. All you did was tell people what he did. You didn't have to make it disgusting. You just have to think about the sidewalks of New York. And, and shoes that have walked over that here all day. have walked over these floors here. <laughs> I, I must say, Benji, you have no defense, uh, no position to defend. <laughs> 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 and that's the nicest man here, baby. Right. Well, George, George doesn't have a bone to pick with you. Right. He has no axe. Right. No axe I, to grind. I, I'm going to, uh, I'll burn myself with a cigarette later after this. <laughs> all right. Thank you, No, baby. no, no, no. We care about you. All right. That's obviously. all. We obviously care. Right? Well, I still want to see George get care, his balls what? smelled. <laughs> right, where is the dog? Out uh, here. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, okay. so what does George have to do? <laughs> so what do I have to do? Just yes. doing, so there's a woman that's going to actually bring the dog in, and there's a guy that can explain everything. So he'll stand at the party. <laughs> So George should go to an area where he disrobes, and they need to be about, I don't know, five to seven feet apart. All right, where is the dog? George's pile of clothes has to be about five to seven feet away oh. from the dog. All right, so where should George do this? Right here? In the, um, no, George should do it in the staging area. I'll come in. All right. Yeah, George, he can I get do... a behind, under the curtain, George, right? take your clothing off. All right. By the way, if you want, if you feel weird taking your clothing off, Richard Christie said he'd take his off too and, you, and, and get naked. He, he wants to be naked. He's fine. Fine. You're fine. With you. oh, yeah. We could have where, a sword where, fight. Where, where do I undress? Give George a uh, give George a hand, will you, Gary? Come on. George, do you want him to go behind the curtain? No, come over here. George doesn't care. I think you can go behind the curtain if you want, but I think he's proud of his body. Get get over on Mike over there. Well, we need the coat too, George. Yeah, get that coat. Don't do, don't leave that coat over oh, there. I, I want that smell. My my own coat. I like this. It. Is, this is why you have bed bugs. You keep not checking everything. He has bed bugs, and he <laughs> and he's leaving his coat over there. With <laughs> Walk over by Gary. Please. We need and, all of your clothes. And you have bites all over you. I see them. Get, well, get, get, I, get on, over there. <laughs> he, I see on his neck he has a bite. We know he has bed bugs. I love George. We've been talking about the floor here. 
What? What is that? We've been talking about the floor here. Uh, all right, so you the want to put shoes them, that put have walked pile, all over the, the, the sidewalks of New York. Hold on, hold on. George, put them on the chair. On the, the put chair. your clothes on the chair, yeah. The oh, dog can smell that. he only knew what had happened on that chair. Uh, that's true, too. <laughs> all right. Now, George. Go, yeah. buddy. All right. Strip Didn't down. Didn't that chair um, once have a problem? I'm sure. I'm sure the chair has bed bugs. <laughs> Oh, there's a, there's a changing area for George. Look at how oh. nice that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. You, you don't care. You're care. proud of your body, right, George? <laughs> well, you know, I take care of myself. All right. Very handsome man. Look at the shape this guy's in He's for 73. He's a great shape, really. 73, you actually have muscle Shoe, tone. Shoes, too. Yes. Shoes, everything, yeah, yes. Awesome. I hope you wore so, uh, underwear. Did you my, wear underwear my, today? <laughs> what? Did you wear underwear, I hope? I did. All right. My feet, however, are not pretty. I had... Uh, <laughs> Foot surgery, which uh, Go ahead. was not successful. Uh-oh. So, uh, what was wrong I, with your foot? You wrong? may want me to keep my sh- uh, socks on. Mm. What was wrong with your foot? The right foot is really deformed. It is? Yes. What do you mean? What happened? Tell me the surgery. Well, I had an extraordinary... I, well, a, a fan gave... This was like about 30 years ago. Yeah. A fan gave me... Um, Pedicure? A, a beautiful a pair of running shoes. Let me see your foot. Ah, that's no big deal. It's no I big don't, deal. What do you mean? Your toe's fucked up? Well, I had surgery, and uh, it didn't oh, yeah. work, and it's... Your feet like are that. a little uh, fucked yeah. up. That is weird. <laughs> what is that? What it's, is um, that? <laughs> what, did the, what did the fan give you that caused that? A pair of running shoes. Beautiful pair of running shoes. Yes. Uh, back then, the 70s, it must have cost $100. Yes. But it was a tad too small for me. Right. Uh, but it was so beautiful, and I had a 10K run right. that Sunday, so I uh, squeezed my feet into them oh, yes. sure. and did the 10K run. And that night, I got the most horrific cramp. My foot just fi- uh, fisted up like this. Well, you're taking the mic away. Yeah. You got a 130 What are you doing? And yeah. all the muscle on my right side, yeah. from my foot to, uh, to my thigh, buttock, back, and to my head, just cramped up. And I had to be taken to uh, the emergency hospital. Wow. And uh, they put me in this, this iron rack, this medieval rack. Yeah. That sent uh, electrical uh, currents through my <laughs> muscles. Wow. And pulled me up and down and relaxed the muscle. All but, from shitty sneakers. Yeah, from yeah. small sneakers. So what and, happened to your toe? And my foot remained in this position. Curled like up. Yeah. Yeah. So they, uh, I had surgery, which... Uh, Opened up your feet. Opened up my uh, uh, my foot, but uh, over about a three year period, it went right back. Oh, and so I went back to that. the doctor. Let me see your foot. Oh wow, yeah, man. Okay, when you put it down well, like isn't that, that. Something? yeah, but both feet are both like feet that. Both feet are like yeah. that. Well, this eventually started happening too. <laughs> oh, I wow. guess compensate for that. You're kidding oh, me! Isn't that terrible? George, get some shoes. And then I quit. had a George. I feel, operation. Yeah, look at that. What the hell's on your belly? There? This was when I was about a year and a half, two years old. What, did you get shot in the I stomach? I got, no, interception. Interception? Interception. What is that? And, well, it's a, a, a intestine that's supposed to be like this somehow doubles up. You're like a walking medical. I am. Look like he's, he's and got so three days. George, I've operate. never, wait a second. If this shoe's fucked up your one foot, how could both feet be so fucked up? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this happened <laughs> much later. Like that's, not from the, that's not from the shoes. Oh, uh, that's not from the shoes. No, it was just this both feet side are, that, these, both, both feet are fucked up. I've never seen feet like this. I, that's why I told you. I, I, do you want me to <laughs> take my socks off? What are those, panties or underwear? Oh, look underwear. at those. My God. You're in good shape. Yeah. Do you still run or are you, are you unable to uh, run? No, I just work out. You just work out? You're not able to run? Because of this. Yeah. Uh, my doctor wouldn't allow me to. But I walk. Those are know, some bizarre looking walk. feet. I think I know. it's great. I know. Do you have I, shoes I keep my feet covered. You Only do? for you. <laughs> what if you go to the beach and stuff? What happens? Uh, I keep uh, my sandals on. You do? Yeah. Yeah, it, with, with socks. No, not, not with, you know, those canvas uh, Oh, you, know, you have a shoes. covered shoe. Robin, I think George's feet are not from running. No, it's from not. It's some kind of weird disease or something. He's got some <laughs> condition, because it wouldn't have happened on the other side if it was That's right. one of uh, you, an issue of a shoe. Okay, you should have. Uh, but, George, you should have shown your feet on Star Trek. I mean, <laughs> you're an alien. And an alien creature. Yeah, he has three navels. And he's fucked up from my ankle does, down. Does it hurt when you walk? 
Well, I have orthotics in my shoes. And how many toes do you now have? You have more than th- you have more than five. I'll tell you that. There's like there's like there's a big toe, and then there's like another sort Seven of toe. Seven others. <laughs> <Another sort. laughs> no, it's it's the normal five. It's five, but wow. it's just cramped up like this. And do you shave your whole body? I mean, no. you, you, you look good. I'm, I'm Asian. You're yeah, a good-looking man. Don't have well, a lot thank of you. Body you can see hair. why Brad is attracted to you. <laughs> yes, uh, but but I've never seen feet like well, this. Well, wouldn't he have made a great alien? He has right, three no, navels. You should, you should have played. Over you have, there, you have so three, I need to be away from me. Right. You have three belly buttons and <laughs> 17 toes. I was very attached to my right. mother. Now, if, the, if we put the clothes there, Gary, yes. will, will the dog be able to smell them there? Yeah. All right, all right. Bring the dog in, so, Howard, George. We're, we're bringing in two people. There's a guy from the place who can tell you all about bed bugs <laughs> and tell you what's going on, and then the right. woman who's got the dog. The beagle. Okay, the, the right. names are right in front of you. Oh, thank I you. I wonder how you train these beagles. Uh, yeah, well, we'll find out. All right, for, so we're going to find out if George has any bed bugs on his clothing. He hey, guys, is. good to see you. Come on, All right, come on in. We need you. Okay. We need your help. <laughs> uh, this is, of course, from Quest Pest, Pet, Pest Control. Christy, who's handling the canine, and Dave, who's the operations right? manager. What is that, uh, George? I, I, I was asking Will. Do I, do oh, I, uh, wait, the dog's going crazy near the clothes. <laughs> wait, watch. Now, what are we going to do here? Are we going to allow the dog to, to uh, go over toward the clothes? Yep, I'm going to take her around left and right. I'll start at the speakers and go around. Yeah, it's these her. clothes in that chair, by the way. Okay. All right. <laughs> and the beagle is beautiful, by the way. Gorgeous oh, thank dog. You. <clears throat> okay, come here, Ellie. We're going to go to work. Beautiful dog. Come All on. right, be quiet, George. I'm trying to hear it. Oh, okay, the dog is smelling. Shh, shh. Wait. Oh, oh. the dog is near... Near, near the clothing. Now, can, can the dog get to all the clothing? Yep. Come here. I'll have it jump. Oh, wait. Uh, up, up, up. Up, get up. up. Come on. Up. Good. Good. Smell George's clothes. What's going on there? The dog is all over George's clothes. No, he's just sniffing like he's sniffing. That's the, right. Uh, he's sniffing. Okay, George. He's easy doing does his it. job. Take it easy. Let him do his Down. thing. <laughs> Down. Come on. So what do you think? Go to work, Wait, we're not done. Not done. He hasn't said anything. What is he supposed to do when he, uh... He so gives strapped. us a detailed report. George, yes. don't make the dog nervous. <laughs> the, the dog just saw your feet and ran out of the room. See, he's just as enthusiastic right. about that pillow as he was uh, about my clothes. Let me tell you, that <laughs> pillow could be suspect. <clears throat> Believe me, anything in this room could be suspect. <laughs> All right, so he's clean. Yep, all set. Your clothing I'm is clean. clean. Yes. Yeah. What about George? Oh, Jones? what a relief. All right, now let me ask Dave something. Yeah. Dave, you're the owner of this company. George has bed bugs in his apartment. Yeah. So can he bring them in on his clothes on any given day? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So what's to prevent from tomorrow his clothes being covered? Um, well, if there's access to a clothes dryer, you know, that will help. Um, the right. clothes go in there 15 minutes, high heat. Right. That will kill all stages of life. But that's got to be done prior to coming in here. Mm. Can you run your clothing through a... Uh... Uh, we've ha- we have, as a matter of fact. Right. And when the Beagle came through our apartment... It went through the whole apartment, all the closets, the hallway, the foyer, the living room, the kitchen, and it found it only on the bed and the couch by the window. Uh, Chrissy, how much training has this dog had? Oh. A lot, huh? A lot of hours. That is a good-looking dog. How old is that dog? She's about five. 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 She's so beautiful. I mean, these dogs, Howard, the NASDAQ are certified dogs are trained every day. Right. You know, where I, you know, Christy and Ellie, we also... um, have Sniffer, who's here with us, um, and my dog, um, Bugsy. We train them with live insects every day. This is an epidemic, right? Don't you believe... Uh, pandemic. D- don't you think DDT should be brought back? Um, actually, they're resistant to DDT, I and that's part of the problem. I keep trying to tell you that. It will kill them. It will oh, kill God. them. <laughs> <laughs> DDT <laughs> will do it. We have the DDT. <laughs> It'll do it. What's wrong um, with you? Listen to me, Rob. Yeah, we chose the non-toxic... Um, well, they, well you, they treat your part. He's the sniffer. He smells this stuff. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Th- for the treatment of the apartment. Let me Was it Dave? done with heat? Heat? Uh, he's doing the uh, heat, the vacuum, and the uh, insecticide, whatever it is. Okay. And then he's putting uh, something over the mattress. Yeah, an enclosure. Let me enclosure. ask Dave and Christy this. And, uh, have you ever seen feet like George's before? <laughs> <laughs> Christy, what about you? <laughs> I don't think so. What is but that? That's that makes him original. Yeah, it does. So David, <laughs> I've seen anything like that. And Ellie looks confused too. Yeah, the dog <laughs> looks completely confused. <laughs> this is some, it's this a is very a, obedient dog. What does it cost to get into this business? Let's say I want to get a dog like uh, um, like your dog. Well, the Nasdaq certified dogs 
or they actually upped it. It's now uh, eleven thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. These dogs dollar. are big earners, right? Eleven thousand. Yeah. Is your dog booked up all day in New York City, yeah. just going around Pretty smelling much. stuff? Yeah, we. You know, two years ago, we were coming to New York maybe one day a week, and now there's three of us, three teams, accredited teams, and we're here almost every day. Wow. How do you know uh, your company is uh, good? How do you know if you're getting a dog that really knows and doesn't give you a false reaction? Um, well, the, the biggest thing, I can't stress it enough, is a NASDAQ certified dog. It's the National Entomology Scent Detection Canine Association. Hey, you got to get approval from that. No, if a guy isn't associated with that, he could be shady. Yes. Because some people could be shady and say, hey, uh, you, oh, the dog smells bugs. And well, then that's true. And I mean, if you think about, you know, years ago when we had encephalitis, you know, the big mosquito scare in Connecticut, right. all of a sudden, overnight, there's 900 you know, George's mosquito control, you know, right. and they're experts all of a sudden because the regulations haven't caught up with the problem yet. Right. You know, and, and you know, um, so this these national um, agencies like NASDAQ, you really have to, you know, um, be a part of that if, if you want somebody to come into the house. May I ask do you think how... Should, do you, don't you think we should have the dog smell George's chair? How about if the bugs got onto the chair already? Well, if it weren't on, if it wasn't on my uh, clothes, it but, couldn't have gotten on the chair. But I was going to ask... Let me ask you. Don't I, you think we should smell the chair? George has been here two days. I, do, I would do the whole studio. You would. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't say that. Do, do, do me a favor, Chris. You can bring the dog over by the chair there and smell, uh, smell George's chair while we have you here. I how mean, close do they have to be to the bed bugs to have a reaction? Um, yeah, about, about about three feet. Three uh, feet. Yeah. So he um, okay, what, what she happens is the, the way the odor. You know what what Ellie is detecting is the odor of the insect, right. the bug, not the bug itself. Right. So when you have air handling equipment and windows are open, it blows that uh, scent around. So the dog is smelling the chair right now where George <laughs> has been sitting. <laughs> You see anything there, Christy? Then smell Benji. Nope, all set. <laughs> yeah, smell Benji. If it please. wasn't on my clothes, it couldn't be on the chair. May I ask, sir, um, you know, we were here in October. Yeah. And we live in California. Mm -hmm. But we were here in October, and we had no problem. And then we went back to Los Angeles, and we came back uh, in mid-November. Mm -hmm. And from the first, uh, well, the second or third night, I started getting bitten. Yeah. How could we have gotten it? We, um, we couldn't have brought it from hotel, California. I told you you're in hotels all the time. Not well. We weren't in the hotel uh, from the time he, that we were here. Went I mean, back and then he came went, back. In other words, he wasn't in his apartment. Right. Could it be that even other people in his building have them and they, they migrate? Yep. See. You know, if there's any kind of common area in the building, you know, yeah, either seating area or air vents, there or are. They can. They, they're finding now. There's a club floor and there's a gym. The gym. We find them in gyms all the time. We oh, find you do. Them, uh, um, behind wall plug outlets. Oh. Know, I see. Um, wow. They will migrate anywhere. So see? then we can get our apartment cleaned. But if I go to the gym, I might bring it right back. That's the problem. Oh yeah. my God. DDT is Just the answer. He her. says it, it doesn't kill him. He's wrong. There's one thing he's wrong about. Trust me. DDT will take care of the problem. I think problem. you have stock in DDT. No, I don't. I have no stock. I have no interest in DDT other than I'm a great American and I want to see this country saved. And I want to see the people of the world safe from malaria as well. I'm a will humanitarian. Will DDT take care of malaria? Yes. Yes. It will. Yeah. There well, you go. Well, then get it for yeah. that and if, leave me alone with the bed bug. If it weren't, I'll, I'll give Howard, I'll give you a plug. If it weren't for DDT, none of us would be here right now. That's right. So. What? I don't know what he said, but I agree with him. <laughs> it's really dispiriting. I mean, we're you know spending a, a, a nice chunk of money to get it uh, cleaned, and uh, and we can have it back again. Oh, you yeah. can because your neighbor may not be doing the same the same service. Uh, yeah. I think the building told us that there were uh, there were people uh, down below us and above us that were. Getting the yeah. same uh, treatment. Oh, oh, so it is. So that's in where your you building. got them from. That's it. Uh, that, well, how line. could it have gotten there? Be, because we didn't. They go through we the weren't walls. bitten in October. The walls. Oh. You can or, get them. You can pick them up anywhere. Taxis, trains, anywhere. There's the people. There's movie gonna theater. Be movie, I thought you went it was to theater, didn't you? Well, the theater and movies yep, as well. Mm -hmm. Well, they, you're always at the movies. I tell you, sit home. Stay home, George. Right. I go to the with those theaters. You stay home. I shouldn't walk. That's right. I mean, listen, guys. Thank you. He gets a clean of health today but yeah, who thank knows you tomorrow. very much for that but <laughs> that is uh christy and dave dave is the uh, operations manager and handler christy and what's the, the dog's handler. name ellie ellie mm -hmm. that's ellie thank Beautiful you ellie <laughs> you're gorgeous and i'll give you a plug quest pest control yes mm -hmm. you're the guys to call yep or bedbugdetectives.com bedbugdetectives.com <laughs> for more information go on quest pets 
Quest Pest Controls Services or BedBugDetectives.com. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Harry. Thanks for giving him a clean. Thanks for getting Thanks him for naked like that. I can see his feet. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, bye, guys. Isn't that Pleasure a beautiful dog? Pleasure to meet you. Gorgeous dog. Take the dog by my office. Make sure I'm clean as long as you guys are here. <laughs> Please. Check the green room. I, I sleep in there. I don't want to get these things. I'm trying. I'm trying. Those are some feet, Georgie. <laughs> Jesus. He's so beautiful. But they ran off with the microphone. And then and everyone's he has in a rush. Those feet. Oh, I was reluctant to take my socks off. Those are the greatest. <laughs> you know what it looks like? I think you, I think you had your like a foot binding. Have you had a? Oh, it does, look, doesn't it? The uh, uh, Chinese foot binding. Yes. I'm going to show those on Howard TV. People are going to. I mean, I've never seen. Is but it, has he been to a doctor? It's yeah. it's a uh, surgery that failed. But wait a second. You didn't and they wanted to do it all over again. George, listen. What? To me. That is not from bad sneakers. Bad sneakers, your feet would. Recover. Well, I, I got that horrible cramp that night. I understand, but you see, your both feet are completely sideways. Yeah. I've never I seen... I wore those shoes on both feet. Oh, I see. So you're saying both feet were killing you after but the... But one time, No, the George? cramp was in the right foot. So then why would both feet go berserk? Only one well, foot. Well, no. Uh, the right foot was the only one that went berserk. And then after the surgery went bad, yeah. uh, and this, start, and this started going you know, back to that original shape. And then about uh, five years after that, this you one started to, match? to I mean, yeah. shift about. <laughs> on its own, it started to shift. On its own. See, I think that's indicative of something else other than uh, bad surgery. Uh, balancing I mean, my that. body. They're the most photogenic feet I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are. I mean, wow. I should face the camera. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at those things. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, that's all, like, I look like, uh, like alien. one of the alien creatures. And it's, that doesn't hurt. That's that got to hurt, doesn't that? Uh, no, it's just uncomfortable. No. And I, I would love to run again, but... Uh, what a shame. Not on those. Oh, we, we've learned something about George. I never th I thought we'd learned everything. <laughs> that is the opposite of yoga. Oh, you don't know the half of me, or, or even 80% of me. I heard when you take off your underpants, you have a spiked <laughs> tail, like a dog. <laughs> I, I curl it up and right. tuck it under. Robin, have you ever seen a foot condition like that? Yes, I have, you but have? I didn't think George would have she it. I mean, we thought George was a celebrity <laughs> that would never get touched yeah, by something like that. people don't get that. Well, they? George uh, showing us his feet, <laughs> and uh, Howard TV, that's going to be a big special about your feet. <laughs> I wonder what George's foot fetishes feet. do with those feet. I don't know. <laughs> good news for Melly today. Yes, good news. Well, we just, uh, of health. All clear for George? Mm-hmm. All clear. <laughs> Hold on, Ellie. Smell Richard. Smell Richard. <laughs> Come on, we get so a little we, work. We can rest assured that everything is everything's cool. For now. For now. For now. <laughs> what can we What can we do to keep them out of here? Like, is there any preventative things that can be done? Um, you can. Every time you come in, you can strip down your clothes, put them in a dryer. <laughs> um, it depends. If you've already been hit by bed bugs, I don't know what the laws are in New York, but you could probably get away with a preventative treatment in there. So if any do drop out and they go running, they will get killed. Um, other than that, not really too, too much. You can get things like interceptors for underneath the furniture, which it's a plastic dish about this, and it has an inner ring and an outer ring. And what happens is the bed bugs crawl up it, and if they get caught in the outer ring, it means they were coming to the furniture, and if they get caught in the inner ring, it means they're coming from the furniture. So it's like a little cheap, uh, cheap simple monitoring device that you can use. Well, obviously, this is a huge problem that isn't going away anytime soon. Right. No, not for a long time. Which is good for your business, but bad for... All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't complain. Thank you for coming by, though. Thank you. Good job, Ellie. George, are you extremely relieved that you haven't brought them up here? I am relieved and comforted by that, but discomforted by the fact that uh, we're not free of it, uh, even after we spend a, a good hunk of money to uh, get the apartment cleaned up, uh, it may still come back. Right, just as easily as it came to you in the first place. Exactly. Okay. Because, as I said, in October, we weren't bitten at all, or I wasn't bitten at all. Brad, I mean, Brad is the one that uh, apparently is uh, distasteful to bed bugs because he doesn't get bit. I'm the only one. So, safe for now. But safe for now, but who knows what's going to happen next? That's the nature of bed bugs, I guess.